Prismatica has been the one that has traveled all over the world. It's been in Switzerland, uh, England, Israel. It's been all over the U.S. and Canada. And I think for 2020, we have new bookings again back in Europe. So it's it's really it's really on a world tour. The, the project was was prepared for a winter festival called Luminotherapy in Montreal, Quebec, that showcased uh, public installations that focus on light. We wanted to investigate how light can interact with. Uh, dichroic materials, which is what gives Prismatica its dynamic color range. We wanted to create this range of colors and reflections and transparencies for, for everyone to enjoy. We then sort of launched into a variety of different iterations to see how we could maximize the effect of, of light on public space. Uh, but in the end, we, we settled on more of a prism-like shape. So we, we basically wanted to make this thing as big as possible to really make it feel like an immersive experience. So 52 is what, what we landed on. <laughs> Truth be told, that's how much that Crook film we could buy for the project. It's not, it's not cheap, but we were lucky enough to work with 3M and they, they sort of helped us along. And, and we were actually able to cover quite a bit of space. That's kind of the great thing about this installation is that sometimes it's booked for 10 prisms, other times 50 prisms. So it, it is adaptable to a number of different uh, contexts. We're not able to visit every location that Prismatica is, is showcased in, but by seeing all the photos that, that are on Instagram, it's really cool to see um, how not only how people take pictures of the prisms, but how they take pictures through the prism to see this, this really cool dynamic color range of various cities. It's just, it's really interesting. We just really want people to have fun and, uh, you know, hopefully forget about the cold weather.